It's a new environment for us, new field. I thought the field was a little bit smaller and a little bit more narrow than we're used to. You know, it was kind of a newer field turf, and it was uh, it was an odd. It had a lot of the, the black nubbies all over the field, which is a little bit different than we're used to in terms of some of the other field turf fields we play on. But also the newness of the team. You know, we can prepare for this team, but again, until you actually play them in the field, uh, you're not actually sure you can get it. And I felt like there was an, an interesting ebb and flow to the game. Um, you know, I, I thought, you know, the first 10 minutes they really came out at a high tempo and really pressed us and pressed us high up the field and won some balls and got some good crosses off. And, and I, I think that's kind of the way the game was. There wasn't a lot of clear-cut chances. Both teams worked really hard defensively. And both teams, like you said, really battled in the middle of the field. And from that, those battles, it didn't lead to chances, but it did lead to some good tempo and good soccer. Um, and, and I felt like the the first 10 minutes they really came at us, we absorbed it, and then I think from there on, uh, we had some good moments. I thought we were really handling them defensively, and, and it didn't lead to a lot of chances offensively, but we were like a moments away, or, or, or just a play away from really creating a good chance, and I think if we had one or two players just a little bit sharper, I think we would have scored first in that game, and um, the ball got wide, and, and you know, credit to them, I thought it was a really good cross, and you had two players in their team really attacking the space where the ball went to really well. You know, they broke us down wide where we had to recover, and, and that recovery put stress on Connor and Pitch, mostly in terms of them getting back into space to deal with the cross, and they weren't quite prepared once the cross was served to really now to go out and attack the ball, and they got caught a little bit. Because they were recovering, they got caught with a good service where they couldn't come out and attack the ball and that allowed the, the Cosmos player to really attack the space that uh, Connor and Pitch normally would have tried to attack. And it, it was a tough one for us to take because, uh, again, I, I thought we were playing really well on the road and really limited their chances, and uh, I, I felt like we were starting to open up the game to get more chances ourselves. A lot of times, you know, you have an ego of, of just starting and that's it, but, but globally, uh, there's a lot of pride. Uh, you know, in France, they call it the Joker. You know, there's a Joker who comes into the game and, and changes the difference. And, I think at this level particularly, you know, the guys who put their ego aside and come in and decide that they want to give something to the team that they need, whatever it is. So it's just to see it came out defensively, to see it came offensively, is it to change the tempo of a game. Uh, it's a special quality, unique quality, and uh, you know, it's one of those rare things in soccer where you find the right guys who can do that. Um, you know, you're going to have a pretty darn good team because they're going to help you get better at the end of the game. From a coach's aspect, you know, you, you try to get a feel for, you only have three subs, and you try to get a feel for what the team needs and when they need it, and certainly when they scored, uh, the mindset changed and, and we really had to push the game now and, and that's uh, it was nice to see three guys in and, and almost get contribute in a big way. would have liked them to contribute more but they, they did a good job and they really put us in a chance to, to get back in the game. Omar made a nice uh, deep run into the box and, and really put them on their heels and so now they were stressed in terms of uh, getting in position in the box and you know Simone took a nice touch and, and really what happens I think Simone sees uh, you know the space that's open in the box and where pitch could run to. And, and in that case, if you really watch, you know, Pitch really reads the, the service of Simone and say, hey, that, this is where this ball is going to land. Unfortunately, you know, as good as the header was, you know, he's got to get that on goal. And again, I think he gave him a lot of credit for getting to this space. But I, I think he would love to have him on back because, you know, usually uh, that's something that he'd put on goal. At times, you can go through droughts and you can be mentally uh, challenged in terms of confidence offensively. We're going through that stage, particularly at home, actually, even more so on the road in terms of really uh, when the game opens up, are we clinical with our finishing? Are we mentally strong to see the game out by you know, scoring a second goal or a third goal to make sure uh, we get the result that day? Um, that's the stress that sometimes the sport provides and that's the, what our team is going through right now. We, we are, uh, we're certainly addressing it as a group to say we know uh, offensively uh, the work rate and organization we've done and the put in to get chances is important, but the clinical finishing is just as important because when you don't do that very well, uh, it certainly gives the other, emboldens the other team uh, to stay in the game and to create chances like that happened Saturday. So, um, you know, I, I think the positive is we don't want to make excuses about the loss because I think we actually did some really nice things in the field and, and we pushed ourselves. Uh, now we just have to turn these moments where we're playing well into results. And, and that's the next part of this uh, towards the end of the season is mentally uh, we really have to grow with a sense of urgency, become stronger and get results from a lot of this effort and energy and, and really uh, organization we're putting into the game.